Magnus, the Coral Mill 390 program, it's been around for quite some time, but it's evolved a lot of late. You're now involved in additive manufacturing. Yeah, that's correct. Um, and uh, we will, uh, or we are right now introducing this tool, the lightweight Coral Mill 390, and uh, made with uh, additive man manufacturing. Why have you brought it to market? Why the need for additive manufactured product? Uh, we wanted to bring to market a, a optimized, uh, much lighter tool to really uh, have the possibility of increasing the productivity at, at, at the customer place. So in terms of additive manufacturing, what is the process? Yeah, we are using the, the uh, powder bed uh, fusion laser method to, to create this uh, cutter. And what material is the cutter when it's printed? It's printed out of a titanium alloy powder. Now let's get on to the advantages. You know, when you compare that with a traditional uh, 390 cutter, why is it better? I would say uh, that it is the reduced weight. You can have a touch. Wow, it is significantly lighter, isn't it? And I note it's a lot shorter as well. Why is it shorter? Yeah, the, the reduction in length is uh, really to improve the uh, performance of the tool, uh, as well as the uh, reduction in uh, weight. Uh, this tool is uh, supposed to be used in combination with a silent tools adapter. And what is really crucial to get the, the best performance out of this uh, adapter is um, the weight in the front, and the length in between the cutting edge and the damper which is inside this uh, adapter. I'm looking forward to comparing the two versions. Let's go and let's go and take a look. Okay, so this is the traditional 390 cutter that we know. Yeah, this is the standard steel body uh, Carmel 390 cutter. And uh, we will uh, machine a um, tool steel, normal tool steel. The harness is uh, roughly 280 brunels. And the cutting data we are using is like 200 meters. Uh, feed rate of 0 0.15 per tooth. And uh, the engagement is uh, 40 millimeters uh, wide and uh, one millimeter depth. And you can, s you can clearly hear that we are right on the limit where it starts to vibrate. Yeah, but that is traditional you know, cutting techniques. That is quite common cutting data. But if we have a look at the, the new additive manufactured product. Yeah, then we will do almost the same, the same cut again, but we will in, in increase the depth of cut with, um, by 50%, like uh, going with the 1.5 millimeters instead. Mm -hmm. And even at that long reach, it sounds, sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it really does. Um, so this is, this is sort of a 50% increased productivity at the customer place. And all we've done, we've changed the front end. The back end is the same. The back end is the same, yes. Okay. And if we talk about the two products now commercially, do you need special inserts for the new tool? No, no, it's, it's the standard Cormier 39011 inserts, uh, which I used in this tool. Mm -hmm. So if I can ask you to conclude, Magnus, what engineering company should look to this type of technology? Um, I would say companies u using, uh, working with uh, tools uh, requiring sort of long overhangs or operations requiring long overhangs, uh, where they really want to improve their productivity, uh, sort of uh, safeguarding the process as well. So I think those are the customers who should really look into having the new lightweight Coromil 390 cutter.